Have I ever mentioned I am a bit of a fan of the Fate series? Yeah, I know this series can be absolutely ridiculous at times with its over-the-top action, often needlessly complicated rules and lore, and more gender-bending than everything on fanfiction.net combined. I mean, everything that's not a Fate fanfic because there's plenty of those. You get the idea. This series can be weird, but that's kind of part of the charm for me. Often it leads to some high concept material, and when it's backed by one of the best anime studios in the industry right now, well, you get some of the best eye candy ever. I even went to a screening for the English dub of Heaven's Feel, and it was amazing. Really looking forward to part 2. But until then, I guess I can continue to build the best FGO team on the NA server. Yes, you're allowed to be jealous. But yeah, as much as I enjoy the more action-oriented parts of the series, my favorite entries in this franchise, as well as Type Moon in general, are the more laid-back slice-of-life stuff like Carnival Phantasm, or the subject of today, Emiya Sanshi no Kyo no Gohan, or Today's Menu for the Emiya Family. It's a monthly anime produced by the same guys behind Heaven's Feel, Ufoldable, but thankfully there's a lot less phallic-shaped bugs here. Uh, yeah, did I mention that the original Fate Stay Night PC game was an adult visual novel? And there goes my revenue for this video. This anime was based off a of manga by... ta uh, I have no idea how you're supposed to pronounce that. Well, in any case, the author was clearly a fan of the fact that the main character, Shiro Amiya, was a cook, and wanted to expand on that. And more than likely, they also wanted to draw a lot of cute hungry saber, because really, who doesn't? The original manga actually included the recipes for the dishes made after each chapter. And since it has been a while since I've cooked something on this channel, I figured I'd tackle a few recipes from this first volume. Depending how well this video does, I might even tackle the second volume on down the line. With that in mind, I'll try tackling one of the easier recipes from this first volume with the salmon fillets cooked in foil and butter from the second volume of the manga and the episode of the anime. Hmm, fun all those things work out, isn't it? Now for a recipe like this, the first and most important ingredient is of course salmon fillets. I've got four nice fillets here. First things first, we're just gonna coat these guys with some cooking sake and salt. According to the recipe, this isn't meant to be seasoning, as we're even going to wipe this stuff off later. No, in actuality, this is meant to neutralize any sort of fishy smells off these guys. Yeah, the fillets Shiro bought from Lancer were of slightly lower quality, hence why he was able to buy them cheap. Now, unfortunately, I live in Hawaii, so low quality salmon is a bit of a rare commodity, and my fish really didn't smell at all. Still, I'll try to follow this recipe to the T, as it is also a good way of getting rid of some unnecessary moisture off these guys. Okay, just gonna set them aside so that we can move on to our other ingredients. Now, considering all of my previous cooking videos were nothing but desserts, I think introducing some veggies to this channel wouldn't be a bad idea. Starting things off, how about a nice healthy carrot? Not that carrot! No, 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 I bought this one from my local Japanese-style supermarket. It was a little more expensive than usual, but if anything else, I gotta go for anime accuracy. First things first, just gotta peel this guy up, throw the skin into the grocery bag I bought this carrot with, always remember to recycle kids, and just gotta julienne this guy up into little sticks. Or at least, try to slice it up. If you can't tell, this is my first time cutting up a carrot, so feel free to roast me and my lack of knife skills in the comments. Also gonna do the same for this organic onion. I know it's organic, because my grocers felt it necessary to put a stupid sticker on it. Just gotta get rid of that, and what the hell, why is there another sticker? They had these... Little stickers filled with glitter. They're only 99 cents for 15 of them. I couldn't resist. Whatever. As I said, we're going to do the same thing with the onion. Peel and try to julienne it up. And end up with what looks more like burger toppings than something that's supposed to pair with fish. Speaking of which, it's been about 10 minutes since we left these guys to cure in the sake and salt, so they should be ready to go. Just gotta get the rest of my ingredients out, ignore the parsley that should actually come after the salmon is cooked. I'm just an idiot. And as I mentioned earlier, we're just gonna pat the salt and sake off the salmon with some paper towels. And now we can properly season them with kosher salt and pepper. Okay, just gonna push this tray a little forward to make room for my plate, which I'm gonna line with a little foil. Now we're just gonna make a bit of carrots and onions for our fishy friends. Also, I'm gonna break apart a bouillon cube and sprinkle it all over the bed. 
Now this guy is full of taste, so we really, really need one of him across our four fillets. And with that, the bed is ready, and it's about time for one of these guys to turn in for the day. To make him extra comfortable, how about we give him a few extra shimeji pillows and top it off with about 5 to 10 grams of butter. What, you don't go to bed with some butter by your side? What's wrong with you? Top that off with an extra foil comforter just to make sure he doesn't get cold while he's cooking and wrap tightly. And just gonna repeat the process for another fillet just to make sure that the first one doesn't get lonely while he's in the pan. Speaking of which, I'm just gonna throw the both of them into a deep pan, lit her up, and onto a stove on low to medium low heated goals for about 15 to 20 minutes. We'll put the other salmon to bed in just a minute, but first I'm just gonna make a simple mayonnaise wasabi sauce. Now, if you're not a fan of mayo, let me just point this out. Japanese mayo, which comes in this squeezable bottle with a red cap on top, is a very different creature. Mayonnaise. It's a lot smoother and creamier and possibly even more unhealthy, but hey, you only live once. Just gonna eyeball about 4 tablespoons of this stuff to about 2 grams of wasabi and a few drops of soy sauce. Give it a taste, we're good to go. 20 minutes are about up, so I'm just gonna start setting up the table. Got my water, bowl of rice, the parsley I prematurely brought out earlier, a hot paper towel to wipe my hands with, and another tight moon waifu to enjoy good food with, even though I'm pretty sure she intends to smack a certain curry senpai with that plate. Now then, let's see what we got here. Oh wait, you're forgetting something, stupid. Yeah, the mayo wasabi sauce, jeez, how could you forget? Okay, now let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, perfectly cooked to medium, and I'm just gonna top that off with some parsley, and the sauce, and itadakimasu. Let's see how it tastes. Well, if you can't tell by how fast my chopsticks are moving, it's really good. I'm not usually much of a carrot or onion person, but these veggies were so soft and juicy thanks to the bouillon cube that I couldn't help myself. The mushrooms absorbed all the other flavors, and of course, the salmon was fantastic, especially topped with the parsley and this awesome sauce. And while I realized I just ate something cooked in butter, I couldn't help myself but partake in the other salmon and even pour the remaining juice from the first one on top. Oh yeah. Hey, could you leave us alone already? Needless to say, I highly recommend trying out this recipe. It's really not that difficult, even if you have subpar knife skills like me, and it's really darn cheap. I only really need to use one carrot, one onion, and one bunch of mushrooms across my four salmon fillets. And again, with this recipe, you don't even have to buy expensive salmon. Just any small, even kind of smelly fillets from your grocers will do. If it can make the king of knights happy, I'm sure it'll do the same for you. If this video gets enough views, I'll be sure to tackle more recipes from the first volume, even that thing from the third chapter. Oh boy, I'm going to need a lot of rice. Look forward to that, and all of my future reviews, and until then, no, Feral, but now my friends, and... Ooh, is Gudoko getting into another fight? Somebody save me a seat!